we have a lot of platform which is currently installed in our uh, premises, like uh, uh, SMS platform, USB platform, CRM, and everything. Uh, everything is they have in separately, and we are connecting like a mass connection, which is very difficult for us to do. And also, as well as like. Uh, we have, uh, we have an option for the, our partner to connect it, for example, for SMIC, which is partner, they want to connect with us, but the partner, they said they cannot do it because of the protocol is different. They don't know how to connect with us. Like SMPP, we use uh, version 3.4, but the, from the partner perspective, they don't know how to connect it with the SMPP protocol. This is like uh, our challenges that we are facing. Uh, which is we have already a system, but nobody can connect to us. The second is uh, integration process. The integration process, we took a lot of time. For example, if they want to connect to our charging gateway, as well as to the USB gateway, they need to connect to two platforms, which is really hard for them to do. And these two platforms are using this different protocol. The charging platform, we are using SOAP protocol, and the SMIC platform, we are using uh, three, uh, SMPP protocol, which is really hard, and it, they need, uh, they mean the partner, they need to take a lot of time to do it. As well as our commercial team, if they want to do some promotion and everything, it takes us a lot of time to uh, deliver the, 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 uh, their requirement. <coughs> the same as that, we, the problem that we are also facing is managing our API. It means that, like I said previously, we have a lot of uh, subsystem, which is a lot of API is exposes for each system. The way that we manage the API, it means that we need one people to manage one subsystem. We need other people to manage subsystem, and a lot of people are managing the system, which is if we want to looking for uh, connectivity, we need to be looking for the various people which is very hard for us to do the connection uh, currently. And the same time, we also have multiple system and we have multiple sign on. It means that if they want to connect to my SMIC, they need to one user account. If they want to connect to API gateway, to charging gateway, they need one account. If they want to connect to uh, what we call subscription gateway, they need to have one more account which is mean that for one services, they need to have three or four accounts to connect to our subsystem. That is the problem that we are facing. And the same as the, uh, when we talk about API, everything is we're talking about the security. So security is important for us because uh, we are the telco company. So we are dealing with the customer balance. We are the real time, uh, we are the prepaid market. So security we are, is our concern because uh, during the traditional connectivity, we just have a VPN access together, which is like uh, they need to install everything in our premises and then we provide connection and then they cannot do any uh, thing beside, uh, for example, like they cannot, they, they cannot connect to the, their uh, office, which is like uh, we are concerned about security. So we ask them to put everything in our premises to uh, prevent the security happen. And the same like I have talked before, because of uh, we have a lot of subsystem, so many protocols that we are using. We are using socket protocol, we are using SOAP protocol, we are using JSON protocol, we are using uh, a lot of thing protocol, map protocol and everything. So this is our challenge that happened. And this challenge we come across to the many, many vendor. We ask like that we are the telco, we have uh, a lot of telco partner, which is propose us some solution, but the solution is not fitting to us because uh, we are thinking about the future because of the uh, OTT is coming, everybody is talking about the uh, connectivity, like uh, the people outside, they want to connect to us. That's why we not select, we, we not select the, but the vendor that provide us the solution but we are choose WSO2 as our vendor. Like I said just now, we have used WSO2 to replace provisioning gateway, which is reduce our OPEC 
about 20% that we are using the vendor uh, platform. This is the best uh, implementation that we have so far in the, our uh, circuit. Let's talk about the benefit that we have. The thing is like uh, in the API manager, we, we, we can control the uh, TPS. It means we can throttling the APS. For example, like uh, uh, I will provide them an API, which is the API I can set that you can connect to us only three TPS per second, which is we can throttling that the, this partner will be not hampered to our system. So uh, this is uh, the uh, good point of the API manager. And fast to integrate, we mean that the current, the before, I have many subsystem, which is they need to integrate to a lot of API, but after I use the API manager, it means I combine all together into one API and then publish into API manager, which is the partner that access only one API, they can hit to three API at the back end. This is the uh, fastest way they, they can do. And also, like, they don't care about the protocol because we are centralized the protocol. We will use only single protocol, the rest protocol, which is they don't care from the front end. They care about the rest protocol, and then the back end we are caring about. This is uh, what uh, we, we have done so far in the uh, API media. And also the collaboration in API. For example, like, uh, I have promotion, for example, top-up promotion for the customer. So I can, I can make the API, which is the life cycle, then subscriber, the subscriber can top up with the duration of the, duration of the life cycle of the API, then this top-up promotion will be gone. So I don't need to stop at the back end. Like before, promotion is on, I need to tell the team, you have to go at midnight to close the service. But now, it's no. It means that we have published an API, put the debt, then it's gone. Uh, also, we talk about the, when we have API manager, we, it's a single sign-on. It means like before they need to log into three credentials, now they log in only one single sign-on in the API manager. And also, back to security that I talked just now, API manager is provide the auth to authentication, which is security with uh, Google also using that. So they need to have key before they do uh, access to our API. Uh, the standard, the uh, protocol for all API, it mean, like I said just now before, it means that we will not provide them with various API at the back end, but we standardize one API as them for using. It means what, what partner, what vendor they want to connect to us, only single API that we provide to them. So it's easy for them to integrate and fast for them to go to the market. And uh, the best thing that for me is fasting to the mar uh, fasting for troubleshooting. If something happened, they call the API, something happened, so I can see which, which part that making this trouble. So in this case, it's easy for me to do the troubleshooting and also it's uh, make certain my time for troubleshooting the uh, problem as well. Uh, this is a very light uh, integration that we have. From, you see a step from there, we have many things, it's like charging gateway, our CRM, our inventory, our top up, and blah, 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 is our subsystem. And we also have our southbound is HLR, PRBT service, ISMIC service, and USD gateway. They are using the many protocol, like you see the SOAP service, REST service, and SMPP or CTP, or CTP IP protocol, which is before when the partner they want to connect, they need to connect to there one by one, one by one, which is very difficult for them. But now we are centralized uh, the thing. We put that on the, uh, we put our back-end service one side, and then we are using our ESB, the WS ESB, where we convert those protocols to the single protocol, REST service, and then put to the API manager. And in each API manager is controlled by our firewall, and we publish one to the partner as for a public access. Yeah. Uh, 
this is just a uh, integration. So I just uh, the component of uh, WSO uh, API manager. They have three component important. One is store, one is publisher, and one is manage. So uh, what is this store does? So sorry. Okay, let back to the uh, security. The security we have, uh, like for example, like we, we, we talked just now, we have uh, three uh, main components for the API manager, which is we can uh, set that is already built in, in uh, WSO2. We can set them that for the internal developer or, out, uh, or our VAS service platform, we can allow them to access for which uh, interface. And for the external developer, we can allow them for which interface to access. This is the uh, good point of the WS22 API manager provide to us to, uh, security, uh, to secure our API. Uh, this is the API store. Uh, actually, uh, we, we are, uh, this morning we are talking a lot of already that uh, we are published to the store and everything. So the same as us, we also publish this one to the public. It means that we provide them the top up, like the payment. It means that the partner or the external developer, they want to connect to our platform. It's very easy. They just go to our portal and then they subscribe that API. So in this API, we have everything for them, document and everything. So we, when we do it in the publisher, so they can uh, subscribe and then they can deploy their code very fast. This is, uh, uh, okay, this is the flow that uh, in the API manager store, before they, before they can uh, subscription, they need to register the application first. For example, like I want to make like a, a uh, sell force something like that. So they need to put my sell force and then they want to subscribe which API. Then uh, we will provide them the API. This is uh, my subscription. So in subscription, after they purchase, after we approve, they can access by the access token key, customer key, and consumer key which is I talked just now that WSO2 API manager is provide us the authentication to security. This is the uh, key that our partner or our vendor need to do uh, uh, connect to our API. Same as this one is publisher. Publisher, it means that we provide the people who are uh, develop not uh, they have to develop the API, which means that if they de they if they adopt the they have developed the API, and then they need to publish in this publisher interface. So after they publish the interface, they can publish this one into the store. The back back onward, this is like uh, API manage which is mean that after my after the partner and everything, uh, after partner, as well as the uh, integrator, or maybe Ethernet, or, or Ethernet developer, they want to do integration. So we have the people, we have the staff, which is can do the uh, approval or rejection, or we can blacklist them from the uh, accessing to our internet, to our API. So, this is just a part of, this, this is just a small, uh, like I said, this is just a small uh, module that we are getting from the WSO2 for the API manager, which is helping us to do the uh, system integration on time and help us to manage vendor, help, help us to do the, uh, uh, what we call, uh, marketing, time to market fast. Like, uh, like I said just yes, now, the thing is like uh, the people, uh, the, the, the partner, they are really, really, some, uh, sometimes they said, I don't want to connect to your platform because of I don't know this thing, but the thing, the service they provide is very good for us. So from the telco perspective, we need to provide whatever we can provide. 
and we provide whatever that we can secure our own. And also we can uh, supply whatever that we can uh, cut the operation cost that uh, uh, will be happen during the uh, operation time. Thank <laughs> you.